look at this. That's what we did. Said standing there talking to a smart Mohammed. Now put your ears up close. A Mohammed. I had around twenty thousand of them come to the Lord Jesus when they seen the signs and wonders there in Africa. This oh, twenty thousand, there's thirty thousand all, I guess there's ten thousand of them come. Well the big majority was, was Mohammed. And when they stood there and I said, Which one of your prophets at the temple can make this man whole? I said, which one of your idols do you need to make this man whole? I said, neither one of them. No prophet at the temple. And no priest, brother. And I said, no idol could do it. And neither could I. But God of heaven has raised up his son, Jesus Christ, who is alive among men today, who's made him perfectly whole, as you see him standing. A man with a chain around his neck, like leading like a dog. And one man at a time was standing on his feet and on one well. Doctor, we had told me the other night we were sitting in her car. He said, "Oh my, think another." He said, "This Muhammad comes in and said he was talking to this Muhammad, a very scholarly man." He said, uh, "Well, uh, uh, sir, why don't you ex- renounce your old dead prophet Muhammad?" Now remember, Muhammad's believe in God. Out there in, in Africa, a great bone is on the up like that. They take a great big rubber out the hand and get up like that. And it rains out over the country. Never Muhammad stops and the priest walks out the top of the table and says, There is one true and living God. And Muhammad is his prophet. That's Ishmael's children. See? Hagar. They're sons of Abraham. Out of Hagar. See? They believe in the true Jehovah God, but they think Jesus, that was, he's our redeemer. Sent to the Gentiles from the free woman, Isaac. See, and, and through Sarah. And now they were through Hagar, Ishmael, and come to Muhammad. And at the grave of Muhammad, you should go look at Stanky, the great tomb there. And for 2,000 years, there's been a white horse saddle standing there. Muhammad promised that he would rise from the dead someday and would jump on that horse and conquer the world. And every, every moment he had changed one horse from another, waiting there with a faithful guard standing waiting for Muhammad to rise from the dead. Two thousand years has passed since he. They believed in Jesus, they said he was a prophet. On the walls of old Jerusalem is a great big shrine built. That's for Muhammad to come to. And a little bitty shrine down here, that's for Jesus. They said Jesus wasn't crucified, they were all mixed up that, but he got on the horse and rode off. Now they, they believe that. They got a red dot between their eyes. The folks there going to end you, you'll notice it. Now nah, they're standing there with a thousand. And then Dr. Reed said he was standing there, and he said, Now why don't you forsake that old dead prophet and receive one who's rose from the dead? A living Christ! And he's a scholar and he knows how to place his words. Then Muhammad looked at him, more educated man right here in America, has been educated here. He said, Sir, kind sir, what can your resurrected Jesus do for me any more than my dead prophet has done? Said my dead prophet promised me life after death. That's what your Jesus did. Well, he had some. Said now both of them wrote a book. You believe the one that Jesus wrote, I believe the one Muhammad wrote, they both promised life. Said, what can your Jesus do any more for me than my my Muhammad can? Well, the man of simple facts is the truth. He said, but just a moment, kind sir. He said, my Muhammad never promised me things like your Jesus did. Your Jesus promised, they said he rose up and was going to be with you all the time to the end of the world. And the same signs and wonders that he did, you would do also come to the end of the world. You would heal the sick and raise the dead and cleanse the lepers and cast out devils. But I studied Christianity third. So now let me see you, teacher, produce Jesus Christ. And now I believe he rose from the dead. But outside of that, Muhammad never promised us such things as that. He just promised us life after death. And that's the very same thing that you teach and bypass the other. The man was right. The Mohammed was exactly right. After we had said he stood in crowd. That brother ran in my car again. And he rushed over here. 
went in there and laid hands on him, and the baptism of the Holy Ghost come upon him. Now he even sees visions and everything. And that's the most common meaning. He's a different man. I say, Lord Jesus rose from the dead. He's living today. He does the same things today he did then. All kinds of signs and wonders. And you fundamental people are sitting around trying to explain all that and missing the very fundamental part of the Bible. Exactly right. Jesus Christ, the resurrected Son of God, can speak with other tongues to you. He can prophesy to you. He can show visions to you. He can interpret unknown languages to you. And all of that is part of him. And to take this part of him and leave that part of him and be like cut me half of you and take my hips and my legs down and say you got me when this part you won't receive. You either have to receive me fully and that's the reason I'm a full gospel preacher. That means that everything God said is the truth. Amen. 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 Glory. I feel like a holy roller right now. Yes, sir. I believe it.